In this lesson, we're taking a look at how to upload a video to YouTube. First, you want to go to youtube.com. Then you want to make sure you're logged in. I already happen to be logged in here as Christina. And then you can go right up here that says create a video and more and click upload video. Now, when you get to this next screen, it'll ask you to select a file that you want to upload. What you want to do before you even get to that point is you want to make sure you rename your video to something that makes sense. I've called it Christina Sings Maybe from Annie. So I click select file, go to my desktop, and this is in the format of an MP4 file, which is something that ScreenFlow exports. All right, now the first thing it does is it knows the title based on the title of the file that you uploaded. It also gives you a link already predefined as to what it's going to be from that point forward. And you can copy that to your clipboard and send it wherever it needs to be sent. Here you have the option of uh, filling out a description and you can do that now or later. It doesn't matter. You don't have to do any of this now. You can just click next, 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 next. But I will just do a brief description and you can just put a, a meaningful and descriptive title. Now this is where you would normally put in information on a website or merchandise that you could buy for Christina and albums that she creates and stuff down the road. The thumbnails won't be ready yet until they're done processing here. The playlists, you don't have any playlists, so there's nothing to assign there. Audience, you just always want to say, no, it's not made for kids, which basically says it's not specifically geared for kids, it's geared for anyone. So that's really what this means. What they're trying to do is if you say, yes, it's made for kids, means you're specifically targeting kids. And if you, you can do that, but you have to do it within the guidelines indicated above. So this is a new question that's really important that they ask, and it's all legal that they have to ask that. Um, this is where you can restrict to users, but we don't need to restrict it because there's nothing that would be uh, bad for people. Um, paid promotion, there's obviously no paid promotion going on here. Tags are important. This is where you want to put, um, you could say any cover song, any maybe, maybe from the musical, any. Christina sings, maybe, from Annie. You want to come up with terms, short terms, that people might search for. Um, maybe from Annie singing. Um, you know, there's not much really you need to do. Then I would put here drama girls. I'd put your channel name. Or maybe JK drama girls and any kind of spelling to that JK drama with a space girls like that. So that's how that works. Then you keep scrolling down here. The language is going to be English. So pick English, which means any words we might say are going to be focused around English. Uh, on this one, you kind of say the content is never aired on television in the US. Just pick that first one. You can pick the recording date. You could actually, you know, pick Saturday the 28th. Location, leave that blank. You don't want people to know where this was located. You can allow embedding of the video and you can publish subscriptions feeds for and notify subscribers. That means when you publish it, all the subscribers or most of them will be notified. Then you want to pick a category. So this could be people and blogs. It could also be music. It could be film and animation. Probably not, though. And it's not really how-to and style. So I think this is probably more music than anything else. So you will, have, you will basically have a music channel. Uh, probably goes without saying. Then comments, you can leave all this by default. Okay, so that's step one. And you can already see the video is done processing. So it was a short video here. Uh, I'll click Next. Then here you can add end screens and cards. The end screen is just allows people to subscribe automatically. So let me just show you what this looks like. You, these are the different templates you can pick from as to where those cards are going to be located. They're not really cards. They're end screens at the end of your video. So if you pick, let's say, this one, the card or the screen will say subscribe. And then this one will bring up a suggestion that's best for the viewer. Or you can pick my most recent upload or you can choose a specific video 
and pick from the videos that you have. We don't happen to have any, so there's none to, to pick at this point. But what might be neat is that if this is the anti video, you can actually direct them to the Wonderful World video. And then on the Wonderful World video, you can make an end screen that directs them back to the anti video. And that's how you guide your viewers to keep watching more and more. And then when you have five or six videos, you can make a playlist. Uh, instead of directing them to a specific video, you can direct them to a playlist. So watch this. Now, when you push play, this is going to preview it. Watch this. Here we go. All right. So look at this. Watch the, watch the end screens come in. Here we go. There it is. So you probably don't want this blocking that. You probably want that over here. And then this is the subscribe to Drama Girls. How about that, huh? That's so cool. All right. And then ooh, show hover card outline. Oh, that's good. That tells you where the card is going to go when you hover over it. So this is how you set up those uh, end screens. And then the cards are similar, but not quite. The cards are those little pop-ups up here that show up. So what I would do is I'd go towards the end. Then I'm, we're going to make a little pop-up here called card. And we will direct them to another video. So then, again, this would be the anti video directing them to Wonderful World video. Now, we don't have any videos to direct them to, so at this point, there's no reason to make a card. But that's where you'd make your card, and then you click Return to YouTube Studio. So that's Cards and End Screens. Then I'll click Next. Then this is where you definitely want to do this as unlisted. You don't want to make it public until you've really understood and um, are happy with everything going on here. So just save or publish. You can't get out of that. You have to pick that. And then pick unlisted for the time being. And then click save. This will take you out of this screen and bring you back to, you know, do you want to share it type of thing. So click, click close. And now our video is on our list. And look, there's our copyright claim. That's already uh, kicked in here within seconds, which I kind of knew it would. So I'll click here, go to details, and it says channel impact not affected. The content ID claim on your video doesn't affect your channel. This is not a copyright strike, which is good. Uh, it says in monetization is ineligible. Even though you're not in the YouTube partner program, ads may be showing on your uh, video. So you may have ads, they won't belong to you and you won't collect any money on them, but it's just warning you to say, hey, you've picked a song that's owned by someone else, Pro Sound Music specifically, and what they've said here, and each time this screen comes up, it's a different, everybody, every owner has something different to say here. But this video cannot be monetized, ad revenue paid to the copyright owner. Then you can click an action to either replace the song, mute the song, or dispute it, which you don't want to do any of those. Um, and that's it. So it found the content starting at the one minute mark all the way to two minutes and 39 seconds. So, which is, again, obviously this is not a song that we created. So the, the first thing it's going to do is say, you don't own it. And um, the owner of this is going to be allowed to put ads on it. That's all it means. But it doesn't really hurt your channel unless you're really trying to do something big with your channel. If you're riddled with copyright claims, then uh, your channel is not going to be favored in certain aspects. But um, for now, it has no bearing on any kind of um, any, anything really negative. And that's why you see so many people do it. All right. Now, once you've got your video here, you click here and you can do all the same things you've seen, but just in piecemeal. So here's all the things we talked about. Here's the tags. Here's the description, the title. And here's where you would upload a custom thumbnail as well. Here's the visibility where you're going to make it public or not. Here's the playlists. Here's the end screen and the cards, which we've already gone over. Then there's more options over here. Again, we've been over all this as well. Here's the recording date, the licensing, the music category, the fact that the subtitles are in English, uh, what we want to do with the comments, things like that. And notice that I can't save it because I haven't made any changes. If I made changes, then the save button would illuminate. And that's it. So you can click here. Um, actually, I don't know if it's done processing or not. Let's take a look. I think it said it was done processing. Yeah. Now I've got this video, I think, is just a reference video. So this is not what we ultimately want to have. But if you click here again, it'll go right to YouTube. I'll pause it. And then you can go here and it shows you the quality. So this is 1080p HD, uh, which is probably what we're going to end up with. So yeah, this will be fine. 
and that's it. So we've just released the video. At this point, the only thing you need to do is click edit video. And to make it public, you'd go here, you'd go here, you'd click done, then you'd click save. It's a two-step process. Public, done, save. And that's it. At that point, it would go to all the subscribers, or most of them, and they would be able to see Christina's video be ripe for the world. And then, of course, you could click this, copy that to your clipboard, paste that in Facebook, or give it to Papa or whoever. And then this link becomes the official YouTube link. And every time someone watches it, no matter what platform they're on, so long as they use this link, you'll get a view out of that. And that'll look good in the eyes of YouTube. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Those are the basics to get a YouTube video online for the world to see.